SOLIDWORKS visualizes a standalone rendering program that allow you to create photorealistic renderings from SOLIDWORKS assemblies and models independently of SOLIDWORKS itself. You can import a model such as this watch and then after you do that you can go through and position it which will give you the best effect for lighting and position. Start off by critiquing the model and going through the different appearances which are supported out of SOLIDWORKS but then you can go through and add your own appearances in Visualize. For example, I can drag and drop this true glass on the front of this watch. Select my precious metals and apply 24 karat gold by dragging and dropping it onto the component I want to add that appearance to. And then it automatically gets applied and I can repeat the process for any component on the watch. And as you see, whenever I add material, it automatically goes and renders my fast preview to give me the realistic effect of how it actually will look like. After I'm done applying my materials, I can go to my scenes and then go make adjustments to the scene I currently have. For example, add some reflection off the floor to make it look realistically it's sitting on a black glass. And then maybe make some other adjustments of how it's laid out in the preview window. After I'm happy with the position I can go to my final render or take a snapshot as an image at the moment the way it's laid out now under the final render I can set the quality of the rendering how many passes should it make as well as what type of file I'll put JPEG, TIFF or any particular file format and processor speed and save and make that render to start a new project from scratch you go through and create a new project Once the template's loaded, then you go through and import the SOLIDWORKS assembly or model you're looking for in, and it'll convert directly into the project you're working in when you import that model geometry. Once the geometry is imported, you then can go ahead and adjust the location and placement of the components. After you place components, then you can go through and apply your appearances. Once again, you can use the appearances that were imported from SOLIDWORKS or go right to the library and select the appearances similar to what we did earlier with the watch. Just drag and drop the appearances on. For example, diamond, then I can go ahead to a appearance for the gold and once again, drag and drop. It's easy simple process. Then after that's complete then we move on to our scene and I can go ahead and select which environment will work best or I can even pick from our library of environments that will best fit these rings. Once I have the environment I'm looking for I can then go back to my scene tab and make some final adjustments once again adding some more reflection off the floor. Once you're happy with the scene and the location of your components you then can go and add an additional camera location to get a completely different view of the components from a completely different angle that you desire. Once again, the point of view and orientation can be completely independent of the other camera. And once that's happy, you can go ahead and then compare one camera view to another easily. And once then you can do the final render like we do with the watch before.